Welcome back again. World Cup-style VAR is set to arrive in the Premier League next season. Club bosses voted against semi-automated offside technology and its limb-tracking cameras last summer, despite it being installed by top-flight clubs in UEFA competitions. But recent events appear to have changed their minds. Sunsport has been told that Premier League bosses have already spoken to a number of companies who could also provide chip-in-ball technology. Meanwhile, Eric Ten Hag furiously claimed two of Copenhagen's goals should not have stood in Manchester United's damaging 4-3 defeat on Tuesday night. He said, We conceded two goals before halftime which should never count. The first is offside, a player is in front of Andre Onana. That is in four games, four penalties against us, and I say three are very debatable. I'm very disappointed about such decisions. The game is never meant to be like this. This has nothing to do with football. Meanwhile, Paul Scholes pinpoints key moment that killed Manchester United in the Champions League. Man United have lost three of their first four UEFA Champions League group matches this season. Former midfielder Paul Scholes believes last month's 3-2 defeat by Galatasaray at Old Trafford is the result that Manchester United could end up ruining as they face an uphill struggle to make it into the Champions League knockout stages. The Reds were beaten for the third time in their opening four group stage matches on Wednesday night, losing 4-3 to FC Copenhagen at Parken Stadium. United led twice, taking both 2-0 and 3-2 leads, only to collapse inside the final 10 minutes. Substitute Rooney Bargigi scored an 87th minute winner to complete a dramatic turnaround just four minutes after the Danish side had clawed themselves level for a second time. The result leaves United bottom of Group A with just two fixtures remaining. Despite that, United can still qualify for the last 16, but will almost certainly need them to win both of their remaining matches to do so. United face Galatasaray in Turkey later this month before welcoming Bayern Munich to Old Trafford in December. The Reds were edged out by the Turkish heavyweights at Old Trafford on match day two, despite leading twice. And for former United ace Scholes, it was that home defeat that has left his old club's hopes of progressing to the last 16 hanging by a thread. It is going to be very difficult to qualify from this group, Scholes told TNT Sports. But like I said before, you can go to these places, like Copenhagen, and get beat. That is not the biggest shock in the world. It is those home games in the Champions League group, as Owen Hargreaves mentioned before, that you have to win. Get your 9 points, scrape a draw, away from home, and 10 points gets you through. They have now got to go to Galatasaray and win, which they probably had to do anyway, so nothing much has changed. But we know Galatasaray have more quality than what Copenhagen do. He added, You can always go to these grounds and get beat. The biggest mistake they have made is getting beaten at home by Galatasaray. That's killed them. Again and again. It's confirmed that Ten Hag could be sacked on the same day Jose Mourinho was axed by Manchester United as the prospect of a Christmas dismissal becomes ever more likely. The special one was dismissed on December 18, 2018, after a dismal run of form. His final game was two days earlier against Liverpool, which ended in a 3-1 defeat. And this year, United take on the Reds on December 17, in a clash which is sure to leave Ten Hag sweating over his future. Elsewhere, Ten Hag to blame for form. Gordon Strachan believes Ten Hag must bear the brunt of blame for Man United's awful season. He told Ice 36, as a manager, you have to take the hit. You have to take the criticism, especially if you've signed so many of the players. These are mainly his players now. The United board have bent over backwards to give him the players that he wanted and what are the clubs showing for it? Absolutely nothing. Manchester United's performances this season haven't been beyond average. Meanwhile, Bakari Sagna reckons Bruno Fernandes may not be the right captain material for Man Ut. He told Paddy Power, The one person who decides who the captain should be is the manager, and Eric Ten Hag sees Bruno Fernandes on a regular basis, and he knows him better than anyone. He's the best person to assess the ability of someone to be captain. He chose Bruno Fernandes as captain because he saw leadership qualities and he's a winner. 
He might have the wrong body language and gets upset sometimes, but that's because he's looking for perfection. Can we criticize a player for not being happy if another player isn't performing? Fernandez is trying to push everyone on, and no one likes bad body language. But I try to look at it from another point of view. It's important to have a captain who is vocal and talks a lot when things aren't going well. That's why they are captains. On the other side, Man United supporters were raging last night after VAR failed to check a foul that could have led to a sending off against FC Copenhagen. Copenhagen defender Dennis Vavro was booked for a foul Rasmus Hoylund in first half stoppage time. But supporters believe he should have received his marching orders during the second period after a clash with the Dane. As the pair tussled following a ball played forward by the Red Devils, Hojlund managed to flick it on despite the center back having both arms around his chest, only to then receive a forearm in the side of the face. Again and again. Jaden tipped to depart in next transfer window outcast winger Jaden Sancho is tipped to exit United in January. Transfer expert Fabrizio Romano believes the 23-cap Englishman, 23, is expected to leave, but it's not known if that's permanently or on loan. Former Borussia Dortmund star Sancho fell out with Old Trafford manager Eric Ten Hag in September following a dispute over why he was dropped. Meanwhile, Braga, number one. Mateus admits he was moved to get offers from Manchester United and Nottingham Forest. The Brazilian, 31, joined his Portuguese top flight club in 2014, but he is proud to have been talked about for a high-profile transfer. He told TNT Sports, Moves you, buddy. Honestly, it does. So when you receive the contact and see that, the stamp there from a big European club mate, whether you like it or not, it moves you. He added, you're a boy who leaves Brazil full of dreams, and you always see these big clubs on television, following them, the Champions League, the Premier League, great players who have played there, David Beckham, David De Gea. Meanwhile, what Eric Ten Hag told Manchester United players in dressing room after Copenhagen loss. Man United have lost three of their four Champions League group games, and defeat to Galatasaray would see them knocked out of the competition. Eric Ten Hag is adamant fortune will eventually turn in Manchester United's favor, despite a ninth defeat of the season. United have lost more games than they have won after Copenhagen recovered from 2-0 down and 3-2 down to prevail 4-3 in a dramatic Champions League group stage encounter. The loss leaves United bottom of Group A with two games to play, and if they lose to Galatasaray in Istanbul in three weeks, they will be out of the Champions League. United were excellent until Marcus Rashford was sent off in the 42nd minute in the Parkin Stadium, and they regained the lead with 10 men through Bruno Fernandes in the second half.